Morse twins are very uncommon. So when a pair was born in 2014, everybody was excited to see them. Because videos of the twin baby horses became popular. On the internet only four days after they were born. Many people were eager to watch them. Belgian draft horses are very popular in the United States. These horses are called Brabant horses. And they are very strong horses. However, even though they have big hooves and are very tall, the animals seem to have a very gentle personality. The tallest horse in the world is called Big Jake. And he is a Belgian draft breed. He measures a very impressive height of 82. 75 inches Big Jake is not the heaviest Belgian draft horse. The heaviest horse ever is Brooklyn Supreme, who weighed a tremendous 3,200 pounds. In the last 100 years, European Belgian draft horses have been bred to be bigger and heavier. In the United States, though, these types of horses are taller and thinner. However, even though they are not the same, both types of the breed have shown to be great horses for doing work. This is partly because the mighty animals can carry heavy loads. The animals work together in pairs and can pull more than three times their total weight. That's why they are good for farming or pulling wagons. However, although the breed is widespread, it is quite rare to find Belgian draft horse twins. Usually, horses do not have multiple babies at one time. Only a small number. About 15% of horse pregnancies will result in twins. It is even more uncommon for both twins to be born and survive. For example, out of twin pregnancies that go to the end of the pregnancy, only 15% will have two healthy horses. Jane Murray from the New Forest Pony Breeding and Cattle Society told the Daily Mail that it is very rare for horses to have twins when giving birth. It is very uncommon for both foals to survive until full pregnancy. This happens because a female horse's placenta isn't strong enough to take care of two baby horses at the end of her pregnancy. Horses are not made to carry two babies at once. According to Murray, the mother's womb is not big enough or prepared enough to handle them. When Robert Peasant put up a video of two unique Belgian draft horses on YouTube, Lots of people on the internet came to see it. On Peasant's YouTube account. He says he uploads funny and impressive videos. That demonstrate the skills and power of Belgian draft horses. Peasant uploaded a video of the twin baby horses in April 2014. When they were only four days old. The video shows two young horses playing happily in Belgium. With their mother nearby and it quickly became popular online. The video starts with baby horses and their mom in a beautiful green field. The two young horses stay near the grown-up as she eats some much-needed food. Then, while she eats grass, the lovely babies begin to drink milk softly from their mom's nipples. By the way, it's very probable that the twins from Belgium drank only their mom's milk for the first three months of their lives. After that, most breeders start to separate their young horses from their mother's milk. Some baby horses may keep drinking their mother's milk until they are six months old. The video keeps going as the twins start trying out their new ability to walk. Baby horses can stand up and walk shortly after they are born. This natural instinct is important because it helps baby horses to escape from danger by running away. In the video, people can see these guys run fast for the first time. In the amazing video, the mother is always close to her two babies. Mama horses are usually very protective of their babies. So it's normal behavior for them. After a female horse has babies, it is not safe for anyone, even if they are familiar with the horse, to approach the mother and her babies. That being said, it appeared that the female horse in this video was very gentle and calm. After some time in the video, a young girl softly touches her nose. The mom looks calm when the child comes near. 
and she doesn't react at all when the child goes to say hello to her twins, the small girl, who is around the same tallness as the young horses, pets one of the babies along its body before gently rubbing its nose. The twins really enjoy getting a lot of attention. Afterwards, the child strokes the animal's belly while it lies on its back. At the end of the short two-minute video, a man takes the mare away from the field. Her two children obediently walk behind her, presumably going back to their home. It is probable that they stayed there until they were ready to be let out to a field. Ever since Robert Peasant shared a touching video on YouTube in 2014, more than 5 million people have watched it and many of them have left comments. One person said, Those twins look really amazing. I am happy to see that they are healthy. Moreover, everyone was amazed by the beautiful sight of two horse twins eating grass. One person noticed that it is very uncommon for both baby horses to be healthy and weigh the right amount. Usually, when one person dies, the other either lives or dies as well. However, this situation is very unusual and special. The small twins will likely never understand how amazing they are. And they won't know that they are very popular on the internet. But most horses are born alone. But they are happy knowing that they will always have each other. While caring for her grandson. A grandmother successfully rescued another child from peril and reunited it with its mother, who then repaid the favor in the most unexpected ways. Especially it is a bear. Joseph and Sarah are the perfect couple who met in a small country town in high school and their love has grown over the years. When they finished school, they all ventured into the city to attend college and then found corporate jobs. It's their dream to work their way out of the small town they grew up in and work their way up in the city. A few years later, they decided to tie the knot. And it was a big, joyous occasion. And everyone who knew them was in tears after that beautiful wedding. Then they went on their honeymoon. And their only request was to go to a warm tropical place. And that was granted. And everything was wonderful. They even found a surprise when they got home. Sarah found out she was pregnant a month later. The news of the pregnancy came as a surprise to them all. But it didn't fit with their fast-paced lives. But they loved each other and couldn't be more excited. About the fact that they had a baby of their own. But there is a question. Are cities the right place to raise children? They had a heated debate. And Sarah was adamant that they move back to their hometown. But only for the first few years of their lives. But Joseph disagrees. He likes their home in the city. And above all he worries that their hometown is too far from any good hospital. However, Sarah did what she does best. She convinced her husband. And they returned to their hometown. Of course, their parents are very happy to see their children move back. They will soon have a grandchild. Everyone is full of joy. Sarah's pregnancy went very well and Joseph's concerns about not being near a hospital quickly dissipated. Is this good news or just what they think it is? Joseph was out grocery shopping one day when he received a frantic call from his wife who was convinced she had gone into labor and was in excruciating pain. He dropped everything and tried to get home as quickly as possible because he knew he could get her to the hospital faster than an ambulance could. When he got home, he put Sara, who was screaming in pain, into the car and rushed her to the hospital. The doctors knew something might be wrong. And Sarah was feeling optimistic. Feeling something was wrong. They got to the hospital and finally recovered. But the doctor didn't even explain what happened to Joseph. They simply led Sarah a few doors back and left Joseph standing where he was. Fifteen minutes later, a nurse came out and explained that there had been some complications during Sarah's labor. But the baby was fine and they were now only focused on helping Sarah. Joseph seemed to have swallowed his tongue. 
and he couldn't speak at all. He didn't even think about his children. All he could focus on was his wife fighting for her life. When a nurse reappeared, she was accompanied by a doctor. It was only when Joseph saw his face that they slowly explained that Sarah had died. Joseph felt the room swirl around him. And then his eyes went black. When he came back to his senses, what he saw was his father-in-law and mother-in-law looking at him kindly. And he was lying on a chair in the hospital. The staff kindly called Sarah's parents, who came to pick up the child and take care of their son-in-law and grandson. Joseph was a little different. His whole world was falling apart. And he wasn't in the mood to take care of a new baby. He was so obsessed and drank so much. That his father-in-law adopted his son while he still wandered around dazed. He's troubled by the fact that if they had been closer to the hospital. Or if he hadn't gone shopping. They'd have been able to get Sarah to the hospital sooner. And if she'd been helped as soon as her amniotic fluid broke. Would she have survived, the thought drove him crazy. More often, he just sat on the side of an abandoned road. In the woods drinking wine while his in-laws raised his son for two and a half years. Sarah's mother had had enough. And she thought maybe Joseph would feel better if she forced him to be with his son. After all the boy needed his father. So one day she took the toddler for a walk. Joseph was found sitting on a deserted road. He hasn't started drinking yet. But he's just as sad. Sarah's mother could barely recognize Joseph. Who had grown out his beard and hair and had lost a lot of weight. She approached him softly and handed him her grandson. He was hesitant at first, but then he took the baby in his arms and started talking to it. This was the result she wanted. And while she was doing these things, something caught her attention. There was movement on the road. She walked slowly. And she soon realized that there was a little bear in the middle of the road. And the little bear was shaking with fear. She ran over without thinking. Held it in her arms. And grabbed it directly from the road. She looked around and spotted its mother. Now it was time to worry about her safety. She walked slowly to the nearest place to the mother bear and put the cub on the ground. The mother bear didn't hesitate to grab her cub. The woman thought the mother bear was going to attack her. But once she did next, everyone was confused. Mama bear just sat there watching her as she slowly backed away and ran to her son-in-law. He's having another bad moment and is starting to get sucked into a vortex. She quickly took her grandson away from the dangerous place and walked home. But she had a tail. The mother and cubs followed her slowly for a short distance. Playing in her yard for a while before retreating back into the bushes. To the grandmother's amazement. This continued to happen day in and day out. And she could hardly believe that she had made friends with a fully grown bear. And she had no idea how lucky this friendship was. A few weeks later Joseph went to visit his mother-in-law and he changed a bit. He got a haircut and even bought new clothes and he looked good. He makes a request to her that he can take care of his son. Because he feels a responsibility to him. His mother-in-law was hesitant. So they made a deal where he would take the little boy for a day and a night before bringing the baby back. Joseph was grateful for the opportunity. And he readily agreed. However, when he was due to bring the baby back the next day. He never showed up and the grandmother was so anxious. She could only imagine the worst. The mother bear and her cubs have returned to her yard. But one thing is different. The mother bear is carrying something completely unexpected. Taking a closer look. She soon realized that it was carrying her grandson. She ran to the bear as fast as she could without any fear. She found her grandson was just smiling happily. The child thought it was just a game. Other than that. He wasn't hurt at all. She took her grandson from Mama Bear and thanked Mama Bear sincerely. Before she ran back inside and called the police. She could hardly believe what was happening. 
And the police immediately went to Joseph and sure enough. They found him on the side of the road completely drunk. After a night in jail, he confesses that what he knew about his son quickly, turned into resentment at the young boy for losing his wife. He got so drunk that he simply dropped his son on the road, hoping that something terrible would happen, which really could have happened had it not been for the mother bear, to take care of the little boy. Joseph was locked up while the grandmother continued to care for her little boy. The child grows up to know the mother bear who saved his life quite well. After all, it visits every day. It's an incredible story. What would you do if a wild animal rescued your child? Do you have the guts to run up to a full-grown bear? And take your cub out of its claws?